So here's what I know. The challenge that you're having right now as far as struggling and believing and opening up yourself to love and believing that it's possible for you again is a mindset issue. Okay? It's a mindset issue because you're thinking about the past and your past, you feel like the past predicts the future and that the future will be just like the past. And guess what? It's something that I have struggled with too, right? If you're new here, my name is Monique Head. I'm a, a dating and relationship coach to passionate, marriage-minded women of faith. And so today I'm going to teach you, I want to tell you a secret that will help to open you up and allow you to believe in love again. Okay. So this was inspired by um, a comment that I had gotten here on YouTube, actually. And so it's, um, I think the comment said something like, hey, I love your videos, but I, I struggle with um, putting myself back out there in the dating game because I feel like I'm too old, um, even especially at 39. So the woman is only 39, which is extremely young um, and feels like she's too old. And so with that, it's a mindset issue and you struggle with the belief that what you want is possible because you haven't seen it before or maybe you thought that you saw it and so you feel like you're kind of off kilter a little bit. But I want to share a biblical story with you where the angel Gabriel um, appeared to Zacharias, who is the father of John. And so in, in the Bible, Gabriel appeared to Zach, no, yeah, Gabriel appeared to Zacharias and told him that he and his wife Elizabeth were going to bear a child, a son, and they were both in old age. So Zacharias was like, well, look, how is this possible? Because my wife and I are in old age. And the angel Gabriel said, look, I speak on behalf of the one who sent me, right? And because you do not believe, I'm going to mute you until the day has come to pass. Now, here's what I want you to know, because the secret to your unbelief is your mouth. <laughs> oh, ouch. The secret to your unbelief and to why you don't have what you want right now is because of your mouth. You want to be able to control that, right? Because instead of that, you instead of using your word as your wand full of magic and power, you're using your word as a weapon full of mass destruction. And your mind is allowing you to, instead of speaking life over your situation, to condemn it. Remember that life and death lies in the power of the tongue, right? And your word can give life or your word can really condemn life. And, to con and uh, condemn your situation, okay? Don't let your heart be condemned. Instead, what you need right now is confidence, right? You need confidence. And so one of the tools that you can use right now is just a simple book. I hope you can see it. It's called God's Promises for Your Every Need. Now, I remember this book was already here, but you can get this probably at a Christian bookstore. You can pick it up. I remember seeing this book when I was driving from Detroit back to St. Louis at like a little gas station. So these are available everywhere. It's called God's Promises for Your Every Need. And when I read this comment, I was like, my God, good, good, goodness, you know, what is the message that you would have me to share? And so it took me to Hebrews 10, 35, and it says, therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you need endurance so that after you have done God's will, you may receive the promise, okay? So when you stand on the truth of God's word, which is that when you ask for something in his name, he'll give it to you. You ask, believe, and receive it, okay? Because by that same coin, I'm going back to the story, by that same coin where Zachariah said, well, how is this going to happen? Where's the proof, right? The angel of the, uh, Gabriel muted him. And on that same side, six months later, he went to go visit Mary. And said, Mary, God has found, you have found favor with God and that you're going to bear a son. And she was like, well, I'm a virgin. Tell me more, right? How, how, could, how is this possible for me? Because I'm a virgin. Please, I want to hear more. And now listen to this. She was engaged to be married to Joseph, right, at that time. So if this woman is a virgin, she is um, being pregnant through the Holy Spirit. My gosh, that is cause for a certain death. And she didn't go into fear about like, how is this possible for me? What's going to happen? She was like, okay, the angel of the Lord has spoken. Be it unto me, Lord, according to thy word. Okay? Be it unto me according to that word. Because guess what? The, where do I even start? This is so deep. Your blessing will be canceled by complaining unless you begin to speak the word, right? Unless you begin to turn your mind around and be able to speak the word over your life. Speak the belief, because right now you're operating in disbelief. And you know what? This is something that I struggle with too. I can remember, you know, just wondering, I have met so many good men, but none of them really did it for me. And I was just like, my gosh, when, like, can, can I ever be satisfied? You know, will I ever meet someone that I can be satisfied with? Not someone who can satisfy me, but someone that I feel like I can be satisfied with. Because I would meet awesome men, but then I would look at flaws, uh, flaws and find fault and be like, oh, he don't do this. Oh, he don't do that. And when I met someone that I felt that I could be satisfied with, it was all gravy until I default 
I defaulted back into my poor habit, right? Of, oh, he doesn't do this. He doesn't do this. And then I have to be mindful. Like, no, Monique, you want to be able to speak the word. Okay. When Jesus was in the garden, the devil tried to come to him several times and he had to speak the word over his life three times. So that's what I want to encourage you to do. Pardon me. <laughs> I want to encourage you. I have to write it down. I want to encourage you to speak the word over your life in order to build up your confidence, in order to build up your faith so that you can open up yourself to love again. That's what it's going to start with, okay? Because in the beginning was a word and the word was with God and the word was God, okay? And then the word became flesh. So you want to practice being, beginning speaking the word over your life. This is why it's because the word will carry a vibration. It, create, it carries a frequency so that the word will be made manifest. Woo! I'm preaching today <laughs> so that the word will be made manifest. And if you are a believer, I don't know if you are or not, because I don't know who you really are. But if this video is speaking to you, I want to encourage you to begin to speak the word over your life. That's the first part. Get out of the disbelief again, because your word can be your, your weapon if you're using it for that. But it can also be your wand full of magic and power. So that's what that's what you want to do is begin to speak a word. And then after you do that, find ways to reinforce that belief. And here's how you do that. You begin to collect the evidence of what you see out there in the world. So if you know that, you know, you're a woman, you're 39 years old and you haven't met the man who is for you, you haven't been able to attract the right man. Well, guess what? I have a client who became a first time bride at the age of 41. So you want to collect it as evidence of what is possible for you too. not to say, well, OK, she's working with Monique. So that means that that's cool for her. No, anything that's happening to someone else. Else, it's possible for you too. So you want to collect that as evidence of what's possible for you. That's what you want to do. So begin to change up your mindset, first of all, right? Focus on the word. Focus on God's promises over your life, right? And if you feel like this is good information, but you're not really sure where to start, this is where I come in. I come in to serve as your guide, right? To equip you with a new way of being. That's what it's about. Equip you with a new way of being to create more confidence and ease in yourself so that you can attract the right man without efforting so much, without feeling like you have to force something to happen. But instead, because it's not going to happen by, by power nor by might, but by spirit. Right? It's going to happen by spirit. Let me fix my hair real quick. It's going to happen by spirit. So your assignment, let me break this down right now. Your assignment is to begin to collect the evidence of what's possible. Begin to number one, speak God's promises over your life. Stand on the truth of your word. You can do that through prayer. And not these pretty pity prayers like, oh God, please do it for me. What's going to happen? But you come to God with the power that's already within you. Heavenly Father, we're standing on the truth of your word. This is what you said. Let me get my Bible. This is what you said in the book, right? So I'm standing on the truth of your word. And, you know, you might want to have other people interceding for you. And then um, stand on the truth of God's power. Begin to collect the evidence of what's possible for you as you just see it in your everyday. Okay. And then if you want to learn more, right, if you, if you feel like you have this part down and now you're ready to begin, I would love to usher you into the next step. Okay. So here's, the, here's what you can do. You can click on the link below and get this complimentary three-part video training series. It's called Be the Woman Who Gets Everything That She Wants, especially for men. It's a three-part complimentary video training series where it's a start for you. My name is Monique Head. I hope that this information served you and I'll see you in the next